Doing what he does best, dog handler Rene Glure training dogs to use their powerful sense of smell to find a disease ravaging beehives across the country. The dogs can detect preclinical American fowl brood, so the dogs can detect the spores of the disease. Once a beehive has the disease, the beekeeper from a legal point of view is required to destroy it. Um, the dogs are able to detect that before the beekeeper can see the disease. Glaw says the best detector dogs are the ones who are crazy about fetching a ball. This is then used as a reward once they've detected the disease in a hive. The training program appears easy at first while they're indoors, but moving outside is a different story. Going outside, um, dealing with the bees, dealing with the weather, the distractions, um, it was quite challenging because we can't search the hives when the bees are flying because otherwise the dogs get stung and they get stung often enough they'll say don't want to do this anymore so yes yeah, so there are quite a few challenges. Glor and his dogs are the subject of a new documentary by Otago University master's student Sarah Height called A Million Dollar Nose. He says being followed around by a film crew was a worthwhile experience. It's, it's been very interesting and I really hope Sarah's going to do well with her documentary. And he hopes the use of detector dogs will help end American fowl brood disease in New Zealand. I feel there's a bit of a question mark how successful it's going to be in eradicating the disease but um, with different tools, dogs and other technology possibly can be eradicated. That message set to be spread far and wide, with Heights documentary making it into the finals of the Science Media Awards in the US. In Dunedin, the South today.